Okay, so we talked about a few different sorting options. We have done a single level sort and a multi-level sort. We can also apply custom sorting options to our data set. Let's say that we want to sort our list by the month. Well, we know that we have to select a cell within the date column, go up to the data tab, and click the ascending sort or the descending sort. Well, let's think about this. What's going to happen to our date column if we do an ascending sort? Let's find out. So if we give this command a click, well, it sorted all of our months, but in alphabetical order. So the first months are April and August because they start with A, then it goes December, February, January, and so on. Well, even though that our months are grouped together, usually when we look at months, we want to see them in chronological order, meaning we start with January, February, March, and so on. Well, luckily, Excel has a feature that we can apply a custom sort to get our dates in the correct order. So the first thing we have to do is select anywhere on our list, doesn't matter where, go back up to the data tab and click the big sort button. So the column that we want to sort is the date column. And instead of having the order from A to Z as an ascending order, we can click this drop down and select custom list. So depending on our values in our date column affects which custom list that we need to select. So we would not want to select this custom list that actually spells out the full month. What we really want to select is the abbreviation of the months. And if we select OK, OK once again, now our months are in chronological order, meaning that they start with January, then February, March, April, May, and so on. So usually when it comes to date values, you can apply custom sorting. For this example, we did it with the months, but we could also do it with the days of the week. So it starts with Sunday, then Monday, Tuesday, instead of sorting them alphabetically. So applying custom sorting really allows us to analyze our data in the way that we want.